I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think this is the third subscription box I've opened this month. I know there are a lot of you guys that just really don't like these, but I am actually kind of excited about this one because I checked them out over on Instagram, and this company, The Collector's Case, has been posting a lot about Jay and Silent Bob and Jason Mewes and all of that sort of... Well, let's just put it this way. If you know anything about Kevin Smith and his movies, I'm a pretty big fan from a long time ago, so I'm really excited to look at this box. If you're not familiar with The Collector's Case, there is a possibility with every one of these cases that you're going to have a signed autograph from the person being featured. In this case, Jason Mewes. And again, longtime fan. And this case starts at 25 bucks a month, although you can do the sure thing case where you definitely are going to get something that's signed. That one's a lot more expensive. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this case up and see what's inside. And here we go. So first up, I see some toys. It says Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Mini Mates. There is a choking hazard on here, but you get Jay, Silent Bob, Justice, Suzanne, and Marshall, Will, and Holly. It's been... A number of years since I've seen this movie, but I do remember enjoying it. And in a way, they're kind of like Lego minifigs, but they're not, obviously. Maybe I'll take those out and put them on a shelf. Next up, this looks like a hat. That's an odd one. Okay, so not only is it a hat, it says Jay and Silent Bob Super Groovy Cartoon Movie Blunt Man Baseball Cap. It's got a bit of a smell to it, but it's got the little ears like the Batman ears, the, the Blunt Man ears, as it were. Let's just see. Oh, right out of the box, it actually mostly fits my head. With Halloween coming up, there we go. I don't really think I look that much like Kevin Smith, but maybe we'll have to get a trench coat and work that out. I can grow a beard in a month, right? Yeah. Next up, I see a Pop Pens The Flash. So it is a pretty cool pen. I don't know if I'll actually ever put it on anything, but there you have it. See a couple of packs of cards. It says, look for a variety of actor autograph cards, five cards per pack from Clerks. The first Kevin Smith movie I ever saw. Not gonna recommend any of his films for kids, but if you are of age, definitely go check out some of his older films. Let's see, Highly Offended, Caitlin and Dante, Let the Past Be the Past. We get the quick stop back there. That's an interesting card, and then Don't Know What to Say. Then the second pack, Salsa Shark. Want something to drink? Another one with a clown on it. Walter Flanagan Original Art. Walter Flanagan created four pieces of custom clerk's art exclusively for this set. Cool. Nothing personal and not even supposed to be here. It does bring back a lot of memories. Makes me want to go back and watch the movie again. It's been a few years. All right, next up I see a pop vinyl. It says Pop Animation Scooby-Doo number 254 scooby Dumb. And from the Scooby-Doo series, here are the other ones you could have gotten. Doesn't exactly go with the rest of the box, but the flash pin earlier didn't either. It's a pretty cool pop vinyl and it doesn't have a lot of detail to it, so there you go. And the last thing I see in here says Blunt Man and Chronic the Movie glass tumbler. Collect both styles. So here are the two different styles available on the back. It says, only available at movies. Movies, family food, and fun. Oh, and this one has Jay's character along with what I believe was Mark Hamill's character with gigantic hand. So that's a fun little collectible. I don't know if I'll take it out of the packaging or not. Probably. I might actually end up using it. And then, of course, you get this little file folder at the end. Shows you all the things you could have gotten or should have gotten. Apparently, there was also a mystery bonus pop that could have been included. I did not receive one of those. And then, did you get an autographed 8x10? There, these are the ones that were available. I don't see one down in there, so unfortunately, no. And then you've got upcoming cases. The October case is going to be featuring Josh McDermott. November will be featuring Michael Rosenbaum, which if I remember correctly was Lex Luthor from a Superman series from Smallville. But anyway, there you have it. That is what came in the September box. I think I got last month's box labeled incorrectly, but I did fix that after somebody pointed it out. And this is a pretty cool little addition to the box. If you're looking for something for Halloween, this was pretty cool. But that's going to be all for today. Thanks so much to The Collector's Case for continuing to send these boxes out every month. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to receive more, and I'll see you again next time.